welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be painting this multicolor dot mandala art on mdf board and also today i am going to add resin on top of this mandala to see this complete process keep watching the video till the end and also guys i see many of them are watching my videos without subscribing so please do subscribe and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos this will cost you nothing but will help me to grow my channel so please do subscribe so for today's mandala art the materials i am going to use are mdf board acrylic paints dotting tools and a compass so for today's dot mandala i am using 8 inch round mdf board of 2 mm thickness for the base coat i am using black acrylic color you can also use a black gesso instead of acrylic color i'll also provide all the materials links in the description box you can check out from there then using a protractor here i'm drawing few grid lines and using a compass i'm drawing the circles so starting from the center i'm using gold acrylic color and using the bigger dotting tool i am dotting it at the center and then for the next circle using a small dotting tool i am placing the dot following those marked lines here i am using gold acrylic color then i am repeating the same dotting tool for the next circle but this time i am placing the dots in between the previous row today i am using these different shades of pastel colors If you want to buy these colors I will also provide the link in the description box. So next I am taking a upper size dotting tool and placing the dots one by one with different acrylic colors. So here as you can see I have taken nearly 16 shades of colors. So I am placing them alternately with each color. color i am placing the smaller dots in between the previous dots so for the next circle also i have done the same process as before and now using a gold color i am placing a dot in between the gaps and dragging the dot to make a curved drop shape So here while placing a dot you have to make sure that you leave a space in between the dots so that you have to draw another pattern around each dot like as you can see here placing the dots with alternate colors along with increasing the size of the dot so for the next circle after placing the purple dot i am using the smaller dotting tool and i am placing the dots around the purple dot and don't worry on exactly about how many dots i am placing around you just need to keep placing the dots to fill the gaps in between so keep doing this process for the rest of the colors as well so enjoy the process
here i'm placing a dot and pulling the dot to the center so that it looks like a tear drop shape and guys if you are enjoying this tutorial then please press that like button which will motivate me to come up with more such interesting content and it will also help me to grow my channel so please don't forget to press that like button if you find this painting little difficult then first you keep practicing the basic dot mandala patterns i have also done a video on it which will be helpful for all those who have just started painting the dot mandala so i will provide the link in the description box do check that video so coming to the painting i am almost done with it i am placing a tear shaped dots pattern on the outer circle and i am highlighting these tear shaped drops with gold color so that's how it looks after completing you can stop here and after it dries completely you can coat a layer of varnish on it so to protect the art but today i thought of pouring resin on this painting to enhance the look even more so i am mixing both resin and hardener in 2 is to 1 ratio and also guys make sure to wear a mask eye glass and a gloves while doing this resin art so here i am using a silicone cup to mix the resin The ratio of the resin and hardener may vary on which type of resin you are using. So here I am taking 2 is to 1 ratio. So mix the resin for at least 5 minutes. Then make sure that you are placing the MDF board on an even surface and then pour the resin on it. I'm spreading the resin evenly on the MDF board. If there are any bubbles, you can pop them out using a lighter or a blow torch. So leave it for at least 24 hours till it becomes hard. The curing time of the resin may depend upon the type of resin you are using. So make sure that you leave it for at least 24 hours. And that's it guys, that's the final look. I hope this video was helpful. If you like my videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.